Welcome back, Best Unit Crew. It's your girl. So I'm coming on today to do another tray, but this time I am going to use triple thick. I want to see how this will hold up instead of me using the resin. Like I said, I got very sensitive skin and I am very allergic to the resin. It does mess with me, but I have to use it when I do orders. But I'm trying to find substitution. And I know this stuff does leave a clear coat, but I never used a lot of it. So I'm going to try and do a couple of layers to kind of get a good thick gloss on it and see what that hold up better than resin. So I already got the images and stuff of my choice. I got my little lighter. I gotta get my little jars and stuff. So we're just gonna get everything together. I'm gonna do the tray. And then I'll come back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the full wrap tray, which I got that idea from uh, Designs by Chai. Y'all gotta check her channel out, she's amazing. So I'm just gonna put my image. This is the order, by the way. So it, it want my picture, <laughs> my choice of a picture. Somebody actually ordered this picture. up on that other picture so I gotta cut up on this one And this is shipping label. And all I did was um, put the image in my Cricut Design Space, got a shape, and I sliced it in half, and I drug it, the um, image, both at the same time. The size is 9.22 width and 12, 30.33 height. So I just try to get the full amount of paper because I don't you know what's not gonna wrap and what will, so. And all I'm doing is pulling, trying to keep so many wrinkles from coming in it. 
But like I said, don't pull too much because this is that shipping label. And you know once you put that down, it's a wrap. You know, some ends anyway. So just kind of be careful. Oh, my allergies acting up so bad. My ears just feel like they got water on them. Okay, let me pull that up. Just try to get it down as much as possible. And I leave it like that until I get the other one lined up real good with it. And I'm not going to use the transfer tape for this one because I want to see how the <clears throat> triple thicker hold up. I just mostly been selling mines with the transfer tape on the picture and ain't nobody complained so far that, you know, I done did them for. So that's a good thing. Then we're praying in. Okay, they don't know they don't supposed to be over there like that. Okay. Okay. It's kind of weird. Leave it down there. It's in there. Oh well. His not his finger looks a little a little nubby right there, but it's down now. I don't think they'll be paying that damn much attention to it. I think they just want the picture as a joke or something. I'm not for sure. But I ain't hating on them because the little dude got money. This one here, hey, it's a comedian uh, from Africa, I believe. I be seeing a lot of memes with them on it. So somebody wanted this with this image. So. I seen uh, <clears throat> in Chai Group, a girl did a tray, man. It was amazing. She did front and back of the tray wrapped. I'm like, bro, these girls, man, it's so many amazing people, talented people on YouTube. Like, and, I, and it's crazy when you hear people say, oh, I can't do that, girl. I, I ain't crafty. Chai, I wasn't crafty. Only thing got me crafty was, I mean, I ain't gonna say I didn't know how to do nothing, but what started me to crafting, crafting is my little girl. We always used to have mama daughter dates 
And when I didn't have money, I'd buy paint or something for us to make. And I'd watch a lot of YouTube videos to try to find something to do with her, keep her busy when she was younger. And then, you know, she's still young, but now she don't like to do much. But, um, so we just used to craft a lot. And I stopped smoking cigarettes in 2015. So after I stopped smoking, we really started crafting. <laughs> and not like weed, I only smoke cigarettes. So, um, I'm happy I stopped smoking, but the crafting took over for sure now. It's like overtime crafting. I like, I'm always thinking, I'm always doing something. I don't know how to sit down. I go to work, I get off work. If I'm at work, I'm thinking of crafts, like something to do, like when I get off. And then I don't know how to stick to one thing at a time. So I drive myself a little crazy and I work myself, I overwork myself a little too much sometimes. To where I'm burnt out on the craft, but I don't know. I think I I just get bored too easily. The trays are cute, ideal, and I know I should stick with it because this is the biggest seller right now. But it gets boring pretty quick. I like to think of stuff people ain't doing, or well, I like to try something that a lot of people ain't doing. So all I'm doing is trying to work this paper in pretty good. Y'all know I got some heavy hands. So I'm trying to be a little gentle, but I don't know how to be gentle. Just gonna cut around it. I need to buy me some new scissors too, y'all. That and these are sticking together. My flash went off. Why I don't know. I'm just going to cut up the middle. I'm gonna strip it to start it and get as close as I can to the edge. Everybody do theirs different, so do what works for you. get some sandpaper or something probably sand it but I don't feel like it <laughs> so just use the triple tip to rub it down good right so just try to rub whatever hang you know whatever but it don't look it don't look bad look at that I got it cut close as possible okay But I will use um, the transfer tape for my lighters and stuff. You know that. Let's see. Once again, I buy this laminated paper from, well, it's not laminated paper. It's like a shelf lining paper. I get it from Walmart at the kitchen section where you buy the contact paper at. It's no more than like five or $6. But you get a lot for that much. The roll just been used so much.
fill in some more jars. Okay. Okay, so I got all my stuff for this images here, which is this little tube I got from Michaels for like 99 cent. And then I got this ashtray here. I can't find anymore, but I got these from Dollar General. They was like two in a pack. Um, then I got this from Michaels. They sell them like 10 in a pack. It's like a multi-pack of jars. And of course, you know, I got a lighter, which I usually buy from Roses in a 10 pack, but they added that to everybody on the tray rain, on the tray train. I said rain, but anywho. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut the images up for that. I need to get some more scissors. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to get that sticky stuff off there. Just messing with my scissors. And these are some good scissors. This is by the Cricut brand. They some actually good scissors, but I done messed these scissors up, baby. I go through some scissors. I usually use the hair scissors. And, and uh, scissors do play a, a big part in your work. So... I'm gonna have to clean these, y'all. Oh yeah, a lot better. I got some done discharge and just cleaned it with a little scrubber. And I, I could have did this with my Cricut. I don't know, y'all. I'm so used to doing everything by hand. I don't... I'm trying to be waiting on it to load and scan and all that good stuff. So, But I do love my Cricut machine. I bought me a second one. I only played with it like three times. But I got a couple of shirt orders to do anyway. So i probably do it. And I can't cut half of the time. I'm cutting more paper than I need to. Okay. And then, see, I have all this little excess paper. So when I mail stuff off, I use, I cut the part and I write the addresses on, stick them on my page. Okay, and if y'all see these at Michael's, get a real good look at it. 72 pieces. I got this for like $3. No more than four. And it was like 72 pieces in here. It was a lot of them. So make sure you check your Michael's out. Make sure you look up on the top shelves all around the store. All on top shelves. Because sometimes they have overstock and they miss it. But yeah, girl. Clearance is my best friend. So we're going to go ahead and just put this stuff in there because it don't take long. Mm -hmm. I put it too close to the edge. So just try to smooth it out. You can reach a little tool in there. Yep. 
I hope y'all ain't hit my stomach. I just ate. Uh, I hope everybody having a great day so far. My day was great. It's a little hot, but it was great. Live to see it and live to fight another day. It is what it is. Thankful. So we got that. And uh, everybody that do their trades, man, they do amazing work. I'm telling you, some people love the paint. Some people like the glitter. I've been seeing some inspiring looking trades and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to do that then. I buy all the stuff. I get home, I'm like, yeah. I thought about it. <laughs> so. Snap. Maybe I should do it this way. And my measurements for my jar is 2.5 for the jar and the ashtray. This is 2.5. Four or five for the lighter, and this here is four width, three height. So I use the wrap around like that, but I think I want to. I'm gonna wrap it up some. I'm gonna do it this way. So I'll crick it. Maybe I should do it the other way. Uh -oh. Okay. So I thought he should have got all of it the same, but he wanted this on this tray, so. Hey, he paying. At first, I caught myself. I'm like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you do this? My little girl looked at me like, because <clears throat> she always tell me, Mama, you can't tell people what to get if they paying you for it. I'm like, you're right. So, I have to learn that. And I'm using this. I bought this, but I forgot I had a little one. So, I'm going to try it like, and see how I do. I know it's good gloss. Don't get that twisted, but I don't want to... Uh -oh. Put resin, period. And then get in back. It's got some like kind of chunky stuff. And see, I don't like using Mod Podge and all that kind of stuff to rub nothing because it seems like it rubs the ink off. Maybe that's just my opinion, but it didn't. It seemed like it wrinkles up the paper. Just dab it around, let that first coat dry. It just seems like it's pulling some of that color, some from somewhere. So let this first coat dry and then I'm gonna come back.
Okay, I had to come back on right quick to show y'all this. First flaw for me, reason why, like I said, I don't like using no kind of liquid on the paper. It tends to bubble up. Yeah. And it ain't dry yet. I actually pulled up that little corner right there by mistake. But I can fix that. I can get something and fix that. So I'm not really worried about that. You see all the bubbles? All the way down. Then it's throwing them crease up over this way. And the inside right there. So far, I'm looking like that's going to be a no-go. Some part of the problem I already knew, though, but I didn't. So, you know, your girl always trying something. So, we're just going to keep... I'm scared to keep mashing it. I'm going to try to blow dry it. Okay, so far this is only two coats. I think I want to do another coat. So we're going to try to do three coats. Just one little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to blow dry again. <laughs> okay, after four coats, this is what it looks like. To me, I feel like 
it would do. It's just not as pretty as resin, if that makes sense. As you can see it. It's not, not as pretty as resin. Resin is really pretty, uh, smooth looking. This here, you can see the streaks, because I had to brush it on. But hey, a quicker way. Some people don't mind. Some people just want one. You know what I mean? So, how I package I ordered these boxes off Amazon. Keep bubble wrap like from work. We'll get picture frames and stuff. And these actually came off the tubes I'm using. I work on the truck, so I have to unpack stuff. And they let me keep the bubble wrap. We got this, which came probably from like a picture frame. So I'm just gonna fold my box together. And then, like, I'm gonna have to buy them a little deeper. These are deep just for like something flat, but the jars I use tend to stick up so it don't close all the way like it should. These are the packaging. Every now and then I put my logo or something on here. But yeah, lately it's just been like, ooh. So, all I do is, I got, a, I got one. Um, I did a video the other night, me working. I was just like, you know. So, this was the order. I'm waiting on her to come pick it up. And I did this one with resin in it. Um, what you call it? Um, transfer tape. There you go. So, this does have resin on it. Also, the tape now. Flaws for me is I must because I usually like try to wrap it all the way around, but I didn't leave the tape down with the paper and I cut because I did the tape different. Like it's weird. I usually put the tape down and make sure it's sticking to the paper before I cut it and I didn't. I had already wrapped the paper. Then I tried to go back and put the tape on and I was like, damn, because I forgot to put it on before I wrapped it, if that makes sense. So I probably had to do a video of y'all on kitchen. But usually when I Wrap it, it, it will be connected to the tape, so I ain't got to worry about it coming up and all that kind of stuff. So I had the resin, and you see it got like the fold, but it got wet spots right here because I didn't fold the tape with the whatever. But it, it ain't coming up, it's fine because it's got resin, but this is what that looks like with resin on it with the transfer tape. And that's my ashtray. My little jar. I don't put nothing on that but this transfer tape. And then my lighter and my thingy. My little whatever it is. So I just put it all in bubble wrap. And I like I, said, I had a tissue paper. But it seemed like it was just doing too much. So you do this, you can do something different, it don't matter. And then just put your box down. You can probably put some tape or something if you're mailing it. But as you notice, it, it leaves a, just a little hump right there. And I tried laying it the other way. But you can tape it. See? You can tape it. It'll go down. But I'm gonna look. I'm looking for deeper boxes. But other than that, I can find something smaller, like um, a smaller jar. That should work better. Just like half the size of this one. Probably like that. You know, so I'm looking for stuff like that. Because I like these boxes. They are super cute and affordable. I think I got like 50 of them for like 20 to 30 something dollars, I think. I'll try to link it down in the description. But yeah, that's how I package most of my stuff. Sorry, y'all. 
I had got a phone call and it cut my camera off for me recording because I was still recording and it didn't get that little ended. But I did another coat and I did a little thicker. I don't know if you can see that real good. I did a little thicker. Don't look bad. It just, to me, because I had to brush it on, you can sort of kind of see the streaks in it. This looks more smooth here. Maybe I got more in that area or something. I don't know. But anyway, I did my ashtray. All I did was put a little dab in there enough to cover the picture and just rolled it around till I covered everything like on the edges and stuff. And it does dry clear. It looks cloudy now, but it does dry clear. So, yes, hunting. This is the set. All done up. So, y'all make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe to your girl channel. Let me know how I did on this tray. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep it pimping. Y'all have a blessed one.